Hey, Devin. Yeah, Will you be my guest star, please? With how common it's becoming to talk about deconstructing gender norms, the gender binary, it's really reasonable that someone might start questioning their gender, even though maybe they aren't trans or non-binary. Hey guys, it's Gage. Today, I'm gonna try to make this video before my class starts in like 20 minutes. So let's do this. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about are you really cis if you question your gender? So let's start with a little bit of a baseline here. What is cisgender? So a cisgender person is a person who identifies with the gender they were assigned at birth. And so, for example, this would be if someone was assigned female at birth, they would identify as an adult as female. And so that would be a cis woman. And likewise, if you were assigned male at birth and you identified as a man, then you would be a cis man. There are some non-binary people who identify as cis. Then there is, of course, trans people and non-binary people who do not identify as cis whose genders in the present are different than the genders they were assigned at birth. So like I said, there's a lot of new ways in which gender is being articulated and a lot of pronouns which are coming into use and new understandings of gender. And so with all of these new things and new information, you can imagine that a lot of people would see this and think to themselves, well, what makes me the gender that I am? What, what even is gender? questions like this that are really hard to answer. And I've seen a lot of posts online saying, if you question your gender, guess what? You're not cis, but that's not how it works because some people who question their gender are in fact cis. So the bottom line here is questioning your gender does not make you trans. <laughs> you can question your gender and you can be cis. It's perfectly healthy to question your gender because thinking critically about your gender, why you are that gender, what that gender is, allows you to more clearly understand the reasons for which trans people or non-binary people might feel that they are the gender that they are, and to have a better understanding of gender identities in general that are different than yours. So overall, you might be cis, you might not be cis, but only time will tell, and only you are the person who's able to decide that. Definitely not the internet, and you know, less likely a family member or a friend or a comment on a YouTube video, something like that. So three questions for cis people out there. Why are you the gender that you are? Like, what reasons do you have? Does there need to be a reason? Did you choose to be that gender? And what do you love about being the gender that you are now? These are three good questions to start with to kind of help get an understanding of the gender that you currently have and maybe to ask some more questions about your gender that don't necessarily mean you are not that gender. I hope this was helpful. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe, comment below if you have any questions, and with new video ideas. It looks like I've made good timing on this video, so I will see everyone in the next video. Bye.